Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Box 12 here, and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God video. So the testing server has reopened once again, giving us a chance to play as the new class, which is still currently unnamed, but it's got a katana, it's got heavy armor, it plays pretty much how we expected it would. It still has the same sprite as before, and while I thought they were gonna go the same route whenever the Lost Halls was in testing, where every character that we made was automatically maxed out with top gear, so that way we could experience the new content to its fullest, but that's not the case here, so I just kinda messed around getting it to level 20. What I didn't see coming though, and that I had to double check, was that there were two different abilities circulating. We have the sheath, like we knew, and it operates pretty much how we expected. Teleport forward a couple tiles, damage everything within that area, plus a little bit in front of you. I only had the tier 1, but I imagine it gets a lot better later. But we also have this smaller looking sheath, kind of like a dagger or needle, called a walkie, which I believe translates to side. And that's a pretty fitting name, because this attack is thrown to the side from wherever your cursor is. It's kind of like a brief sneak attack using needles. I think it also has to do with your screen rotation, maybe if I was turned more to the right they would have came from the right. I heard that this was kind of a problem in narrow hallways because if your cursor is too close to the wall, the projectiles will simply collide with the wall and they won't go through, missing your target. On the positive side, I heard that in the upper tiers this item actually does get pretty powerful, and in its base form it does pierce through enemies and obstacles, making it in some ways a weaker but also more dynamic wizard spell. I'll have to mess around with these abilities a lot more whenever they're officially released to give my full thoughts. There are also some interesting screenshots that I saw on Reddit, possibly leading to a new event with a new dungeon coming out. Mandeka is just on a roll. Also this weird thing with Gil in Nexus. Not really sure what this is or what it's going to be. There isn't much context here at all, but it still piques my curiosity regardless. Oddly enough though, when I was messing around with the character, it was the quality of life and UI updates that I was most drawn in by. The quest portraits now have this little bounce animation to them whenever they show up. The number of HP and MP pots that you have on you is now larger than the maximum amount that you can have, and the color also becomes increasingly more positive the more that you have, lower numbers being red, average numbers being yellow-orange, and high maxed out numbers being green. I imagine this is an easier way of letting players know roughly how many potions they have out of the corner of their eye. Pet wardrobes have been teased before, and now we finally get to see what they're all about, as well as changes to the pet yard as a whole. They moved the monitors to the front, so that way you don't have to go all the way to the back of the room to feed your pet. The upgrade your pet yard button I felt was a little bit small. I didn't actually see it at first, but maybe they can just enlarge that. However, a change that I really like is how we can select what pet to follow us from this menu. Rather than needing to navigate through all of the various pets that we have, find him and click follow. You can just do it right here, and I think that's very efficient. You can also feed multiple items at once instead of needing to individually drag them all in. And you can see on the bars how much experience the item is going to give to your pet, which while basic, I think is also a very necessary addition. As for the pet wardrobe itself, it seems that they're going to be doing the same thing as with character skins, where once you use a pet skin, you permanently unlock it, allowing you to cycle among all the different ones that you have. But that's all the information I was able to scrape together from what I saw. I'm sure they'll give a lot more details on what's going on once the update is officially out. If there's any information that you were able to stumble upon that would be useful to us, please let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.